Hi, I'm Stephen Downs. I'm in my home office in Castleman, Ontario, Canada. The place looks like a mess. Uh, I'm here to test the uh, Moodle, Moodle Net user interface 2.0 clickable prototype. So let's just jump right in. Uh, I'm starting here on the, the web page blog.moodle.net slash 2019 slash clickable hyphen prototype. So here's the page. So here's the uh, start the recording head for this URL. And click through the prototype narrating what you're doing. We're interested in green, things you like, amber, stuff you have questions about, red, anything that concerns or confuses you. So, let's do that. So, here we go. Waiting. 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 Let's have a cup of coffee. <laughs> okay. Um, looking, I guess this is the start page. Login page. Didn't say anything about logging in. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to register. Resource centric social network for educators. I guess that's a Brian Mather cartoon. I do like Brian Mather cartoons. Turn on comment mode to collaborate on this prototype. Uh, maybe I'll do that not on the video. Uh, okay, browse Moodle Net. Let's browse and see what I can see without registering because because oh it's going to force me to register. Okay, so I hate that. <laughs> um, I wish I could see stuff before registering. You know what I mean? All right, let's register. And okay, type your username. Oh, I see. Okay. So I'm going to be Doug. Oh, it's Facebook. Okay. Well, probably not Facebook. I haven't looked at Facebook for two years now. Um, but Facebook. So, um, what am I looking at here? Whole network featured, home instance featured. You know, this when I see something like this, whole network featured, that tells me right off the bat there's an algorithm picking stuff for me. Um, maybe I might want that, certainly not as a default. Um, and and I don't even know. I mean, I do know because you know, I know about uh, federated social networks and that. But, you know, I might not know what whole network and home instance featured is um, you know like in Mastodon whole network is a column on one side and home instance uh, is a different version of that same column uh, do I see anything for me uh, so and now we have instance timeline so is that people talking to me is there anything for me here hmm Okay, so that's on Discover. Let's click my Moodle net. Um, okay, maybe this is more relevant. Why, why would it throw me into Discover to begin with? Uh, I would think I want to be in my Moodle net. And if I want to discover, I can discover. But the thing I'm doing is my Moodle net, right? Okay, so. These are comments. These are little social networking type comments. Kind of know how these work, right? Uh, some people have done some stuff. There's tags I see there. Uh, I'm not sure what this plus whatever it is. That's a new kind of notation for me. Uh, obviously, it hasn't been explained at all. Maybe it's a group. Might be a neat idea. I don't know. Why do I need a tag? Why do I need like a hashtag and a plus? Uh, I don't know. Uh, this is the replies. I honestly don't know what that blue stuff does. 
This is the stars. Can I star it? No, I'm not. Okay. It's, uh, oh, I didn't expect that. Uh, hmm. Oh, I see. It's a pop up. Why, why do that to me? Okay, if I star this, right. I, I don't expect that behavior. When I star this, I expect the star to be filled and the number to increment. When I click on a star, I don't expect this whole thing to open up. Maybe it's because this interface isn't that sensitive. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Um, so, okay, so I get it now. There's two replies, and if I click anywhere on this, I can see, and presumably I can scroll to see all of the replies. Um, yeah. But, you know, just as an aside, this little bit of center bit is my content. All the other stuff around it is not even active right now, right? It's all just wasted garbage space. So why is my content space so tiny? Right, you know, I'm old. Give me, you know, and I, give me, you know, like, if I'm actually going to focus on the post, let me focus on the post and eliminate all the rest of that stuff. Just make this post big. Garnier's nine events. Oh, okay, it still doesn't want to do that. Okay. This is why I don't like these prototypes that are made with like software like what is it called? Just in time or whatever. I'd rather be working with a real interface here. Uh, it's, you know, to my perspective, it's almost as much work to create one of these clickable prototypes as a, as a real interface. Just give me the real interface. Anyhow, all right. Uh, popular hashtags, popular categories, and that's an anchor. I haven't seen the anchors anywhere on any of these things. That doesn't work. Okay. When I click on a hashtag, that doesn't work. All right. It's directing me into things, I guess. All right. So if I click on, yeah, but that blue comes on and off so fast. And, oh, I can't tell what it's covered. Okay. Let's click on collections. Okay. I must be in a collection here. This title thing stays there and stays there and it doesn't why is it always there is this picture opening in the head yeah, maybe I don't know okay every kind of instructional design model that you can think of is shared here okay so create a new collection I guess creates what a new one of these or one of these. Okay, so here I'm in a model. Well, this is the same title as before. Um, can I click on that? Oh yeah, okay, and that's going to take me to whatever that is. Um, shift e learning stuff. Uh, and that's going to take me to this video. Okay, so, okay, good thing it takes me straight to the resource without any login pages or other garbage interrupting me. Uh, pinned, okay, that doesn't work. Uh, presumably, pinned means, usually when I read pinned, what it means is somebody else has pinned it to the top of the list so that, uh, you know, so like normally they would show me chronological uh, resources in chronological order, but at the top there might be a resource that's pinned. I don't know if that's how it's working here. Uh, the little ribbon in, say, Feedly tells me that I can click on this and save this link into my own collection. Now I don't seem to have collections here. So I don't know. Anyhow, I'm following this collection, I guess. I don't know whose collection it is. And okay, so all right. Share a link. 
type a valid URL. Oh, okay, they're going to type one for me. <laughs> uh, okay. So I, I see what happened is I typed the URL. It found this. Yeah, because there's the same URL. Um, and it went out and got it, maybe. Uh, gives me a logo telling me it's a PDF. Probably did some recognition on that. And did I type this or did the system type this? I would rather I type this. But to be honest, I'd also like it to be pre-populated with an automatically generated summarized version. But that's probably not going to happen. Um, no author or publisher information. Tisk, tisk. I mean, even my system allows that. Publish. I can cancel. I can publish. It's publish. Oh, it's forcing me to. Okay, I have to add hashtags. Okay, presumably I typed those and hit enter. Now can I publish? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Um, so I saved this resource. All right. And let's get those over here. Create a new collection. Oh, it's not going to create a new collection. All right, so it's just repeating what we've already seen, so we can ignore that. One of the other options: discover, my Moodle that, and okay. And in fact, we are here. My Moodle net is here. Um, okay. Discover, go back to discover instance timeline. This is the local instance. All right, so we've already seen that. Collections, we've already seen. I think that's the extent of our. Uh, gee, I saw more before. Oh, there's, I can click on Doug's head. Okay, this is Doug. This is Doug's stuff. All right. This is stuff that he's added. Presumably, I can scroll down. Uh, it's going to tell me what communities he's in, what collections he's followed. I don't like that. I like to follow collections privately without telling the whole world what I'm following. Similarly, with likes, um, you know. There's, there's a difference between likes and shares. These are shares, right? These are things that Doug has clicked on that other people can see that he's clicked on. These are shares. A like is something where he's telling himself, here is something I want to remember for the future. Two different things. Okay, uh, what else have we got? Links, actually, oh, okay, those are just his links. Let's see, let's just go out to his. Uh, okay, what else can I do here? That seems to be it. So we some activities, right? All right, that's a lot of it. Um, overall, um, doesn't seem to be a step forward. Um, what I'd want, see what this, all this is, is like, it's it's a bookmarking service. It's like, um, you know, it's like uh, delicious or something like that. Uh, may, maybe, maybe Twitter and it, you know, Twitter, if you always associated a resource with a Twitter post, um, you know, uh, where's I'm, you know, I'm not seeing any way of creating anything. Uh, these resources that are listed, 
Presumably, I could search for them, right? I, that's not part of the prototype. Um, but then what? Hmm. Um, why am I using this instead of, say, Mastodon? Um, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, gee, I wanted to be positive. <laughs> um, I mean, it looks nice. Uh, you know, it's a fairly modern uh, social network design. It uh, has fairly standard elements like communities and collections. Um, and I suppose it can be thought of as like a distributed repository where people share links to things that they found. But it's not a place for them to create. It's not a place for them to remix or repurpose anything. Um, I don't even see, you know, like if I go to one of these resources, um, like I don't even see how I can use it. You know, let's go to one of these resources, you know. Oh, I can't go to any of these resources. That's also very annoying. Um, I can't go to any of these either. Um, but assuming I could go to one of these resources, then what? What am I doing? Um, you know, uh, it's like, you know, it's just pointing me to a video or to a website. But um, where's, where's the context of use? Um, if this were embedded in a course design tool, and may maybe that's the thinking, right? Maybe I'm looking at this inside, uh, maybe I'm looking at this inside a Moodle course that I'm creating, right? So the course is there. And then I need to add some resources to the course. So I hit a button and I open up this. And then, well, I wouldn't go to a community. I might go to a collection, but probably not. Unless the collections were very well organized. In terms, you know, like by subject, by, uh, you know, year or course level. Uh, you know, the usual metadata we would use for learning objects. Uh, but probably I'd just use search, right? But, so, okay, and then if I find something, maybe I could, what, drag and drop it into my Moodle course? Uh, click it to pop it open to edit it and save it as a new resource? It's something. Um, but, that's maybe that's part of the plan of the future. None of what I've seen here suggests that, though. Um, what I'm seeing here is the basics for a distributed uh, social network like Mastodon um, that's, shall we say, resource focused. Okay, uh, that's all I'm going to say for now. That's all I got. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so thanks, I'm Stephen Downs and this was my review video.